Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm here today with Matt Walter, who is a product manager on Google Analytics. Matt is going to show us how to use predictive metrics in audiences in Google Analytics for properties. Matt, thank you so much for joining us, and over to you. Thank you, Krista. I'm really excited to be here today. Let's go ahead and go to an overview to talk more about this. Google Analytics automatically enriches your data by bringing Google machine learning expertise to bear on your data set to predict the future behavior of your users. With predictive metrics, you can learn more about your customers just by collecting structured event data. There are currently three predictive metrics available for use in analytics, purchase probability, churn probability, and a revenue prediction metric. Nobody can read the future, but based on users' past behavior, we can create a machine learned model that can predict what users might do. That's Google Analytics predictive metrics built on Google machine learning to let you anticipate your users' behavior. Now let's talk about some use cases for predictive metrics. You can use predictive metrics to analyze customer activity uh, with those predictive metrics in the Explorer workspace. For example, you can use the user lifetime technique to identify which marketing campaign helped you acquire users with the highest purchase probability. With that information, you might decide to reallocate more of your marketing budget towards that high potential campaign. Next, in addition to analyzing customer activity with predictive metrics, analytics suggests predictive audiences that you can create in the audience builder. In the past, if you wanted to reach people most likely to purchase, you'd probably build an audience of people who had added products to their shopping carts, but didn't purchase. However, with this approach, you might miss reaching people who never selected an item, but are likely to make a purchase in the future. Predictive audiences automatically determine which customer actions on your app or site might lead to a purchase, helping you find more people who are likely to convert at scale. Or let's say you're an online publisher and you want to maintain your average number of daily users. You can build an audience of users who are likely to not visit your app or site in the next seven days, and then create a Google Ads campaign to encourage them to read one of your popular articles. Next, you can also use a feature called audience triggers to trigger events when users match the definition of an audience and become members. This allows for greater actionability to send conversion events to a linked Google Ads account for bidding purposes. And lastly, you can use audiences within Firebase. For example, cloud messaging allows you to send push notifications to your users, or the remote config product allows you to customize or personalize the experience that your users see inside of your app. Now I'm going to do a walkthrough to show you how to create a predictive audience inside of a Google Analytics 4 property. We are in the demo account for the Google Merchandise Store. You'll want to start over here on the left by clicking Configure. Next, you'll want to click on Audiences. And then once in the Audiences section, you'll want to go over and click on the New Audience button. You can create a predictive audience from scratch by clicking Create a Custom Audience and then in the metrics picker, selecting the predictive metrics that you're interested in, or you can start using a suggested audience that Google has created for you. That's what I'm gonna to show today. If you click predictive, here's a library of predictive audiences that we recommend you could use. For example, there's the likely seven day purchasers audience. This is users who are likely to make a purchase in the next seven days. Or on the flip side, there is the likely seven day churning users audience. This would be active users who are likely to not visit your property in the next seven days. As an example, if you click on this, we have a preset of conditions that you can use if you would like, or you can modify it as necessary. In order to modify, if you click the filter here, a visualization will pop up. On the left, you can pick one of these presets based on what you care about, or on the right, you have the ability to have more customization in setting your percentiles. For example, as you raise the lower bound on which users are included, which is a more precise prediction, you lower the number of users that can be included in your audience, as you can see there below. And that is an overview of how you create predictive audiences inside Google Analytics for properties. Great, thank you so much, Matt, for showing us how to use predictive metrics in audiences in Google Analytics 4. This is super useful and I'm very excited to get started with this.